hey what's going on guys I want to start this video off by thanking everybody who's stopped by the website here and clicked on the green banner and made a difference your kindness and generosity are appreciated more than you know if you haven't seen that you can check it out down below in the description box by clicking on mr mbb 333.com we're also going to look at a brand new sky phenomena picture slideshow i put together of some amazing photos and videos that have been sent in recently also in this video we're going to look at an amazing comet down in the southern hemisphere and we're also trying to get the sun dialed in i've been checking it each morning here's my reading from this morning as the, the sun was coming up over the horizon That's where it was this morning at 6.20 a.m., 72 degrees east from my vantage point. What I'm trying to do is establish a baseline of how fast or how far the sun is moving each day. It looked like a lot of people have sent me emails with pictures of north-facing windows where the sun has never came in before. That It looked like the sun took a big leap forward sometime in March or April. Don't know. We're just going to try to establish how much it's moving each day and, and, and we'll go from there but we're going to go from the sun to the upcoming full moon super moon the third in a row we've had one in march we've had one in april and now we've got one in may um, at, at 3 45 a.m on may 7th we'll see the third in a row the trifecta of super moons however it will be the last super moon of 2020 at 3 45 a.m on the 7th the super moon will be official and it will also be outshining more than likely any aquarid meteors that may be coming in on the 7th it peaked on the 5th and the 6th but i gotta admit i've seen more meteors on satellite instruments than i have actually out in the sky so it's just one of those years i mean i've gone out many many times expecting to see 50 or 60 an hour and only saw one or two so you just never know it's very tough to predict but tonight more than likely with the presence of the super moon the the meteors will definitely be a little tough to see but you never know it's always worth a worth a try i love going out during those uh, meteor showers wouldn't you like to be in the southern hemisphere australia new zealand south africa you guys have got a front row seat to a spectacular comet that who knows what this thing's going to do because it's its first time visiting the solar system. You're looking at Comet Swan over here at spaceweather.com. There's all kinds of amazing photos and, and little GIFs of this big comet that's got a tail over 10 million miles long. Here recently, within the last 48 hours, it had an outburst. Nobody knows exactly what's causing this because, again, this has never visited the inner solar system. First trip. Here's where it's at right now. The comet's going to make a close approach to the Earth, which is not going to be close at all, but if you want to call it that, May the 12th, and we'll be able to see it briefly even in the northern hemisphere. Right now in the southern hemisphere, you can see that comet without the aid of binoculars. You can see it in broad daylight. Close approach to the sun on May 27th. Right around the time Comet Atlas is going to be making a close approach to the Sun on May 31st. So we're going to have two comets converging on the Sun within a, a matter of 96 hours. So very interesting times indeed. When you see a comet with a tail like that, the light output of the, the coma is, is, is larger than, than Jupiter. It's just a, an amazing sight to see. The coma itself is not larger than, than Jupiter, the light output. You can tell right there it's just absolutely massive so once again first trip to the inner solar system here's a look at a new slideshow i put together just a couple of minutes long i'm still working on several others that have been sent in recently from all around the world robert from gainesville texas some amazing beams coming up over the horizon at sunset absolutely spectacular gear from southern ireland caught a double decker rainbow almost looked like he could drive over to it very very close to his location very bright vivid rainbow been seeing a lot of those lately zach and hillary noticed one from kentucky a very tall complete double decker rainbow palmer alaska sandy you just cannot get much more pink and purple than that just incredible this photo here it's a screenshot of a radar from may the 6th sent in by stephanie and I've seen a lot of radar uh, loops in my day, 
probably several thousand hours because I have one going all day long over here on my left on my desk. That's something I have to agree I've never seen before on radar. I'm not claiming to know what it is. I have no idea what that is. I've never seen it before. Neither had Stephanie. She noticed that and found it very unusual, took a screenshot of it, and sent it to me wanting to know if I had seen anything like that before. And honestly, no, I've never seen anything quite like that. Some sort of a very unusual anomaly that happens from time to time with these instruments. Craig, out of New Jersey, ominous-looking, low-riding shelf cloud going over New Jersey. Shanna, out of Minneapolis, Minnesota, big halo up in the sky. Misty Day K, out of Georgia, ominous-looking sky with some sort of a tube up there in the, at the 2 o'clock position. Texas, Conti, about as orange as you could possibly get. Just incredible. Danielle noticed this over Australia's Gold Coast. And she took a screenshot of it, and also, like the radar image, she sent it to me, wanting to know if, if I'd ever seen anything like this before. And the answer was no. I've seen a lot of anomalies, if you will, on flight radar. Not necessarily anomalies. What you're looking at is a flight pattern, okay? And Flight Radar 24 monitors aircraft, whether it be planes or helicopters, all over the globe. It's actually really cool. This is a helicopter path. Why it left such a profound grid in the sky is, is quite rare. It's not uncommon to see, you know, helicopters circle for, for maybe an hour, hour and a half. But to see this type of a massive grid is quite rare. I've never seen anything like that on here. And that's from a helicopter. What they were looking for, what they were doing, I don't know. But they were up for a long, long time looking for something very, very important, I would say spherical cloud that looked like a perfect cotton ball up in the sky look at that that come from over in japan sarah b out of pitt county north carolina yet another spectacular double rainbow they were absolutely stunned they said it looked like paint in the sky it was so vivid that is absolutely incredible look there's the end of it right there in front of that tree line been seeing a lot of those lately. They got the video, and then they put together a, a one. They said that was so cool, and that is very, very cool. These things, I'm telling you, there's a, a full picture of the entire <laughs> double-decker rainbow. Looks like a giant portal in the sky over there. Here's a photo I took in case you guys missed it. That's Mercury chasing the sun, visible on May 5th. This is so fast, it's always changing position. They call that the fast-footed one. Just happened to catch a, a brief glimpse of Mercury as it was behind the sun back on the 5th. That's a, a rare moment. You can't hardly see Mercury very often because it's so close to the sun. So once again, 3.45 a.m. on the 7th, the last full moon supermoon of 2020 will be visible at 3.45 a.m. And if you guys are new viewers, make sure you go over to the YouTube channel and subscribe by clicking on this big red button. Also, click on the bell. That activates the notifications aspect of the YouTube channel, and you'll be notified each time I upload a brand new video. If you're current subscribers, double check make sure you're still subscribed make sure everything's still activated so you'll be notified each time a video is uploaded if you guys have any photos you'd like to share you can send those to reports at mr mbb 333.com all of the photos end up here at the sky phenomena photo gallery at the website and sometimes i'll use them in a picture slideshow just like you saw right here thanks for watching have a super day and be safe out there